channel so today's video is going to be a Valentine's inspired makeup tutorial and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I've had this for a while and I don't believe that I've actually done any tutorials featuring this on my channel yet so I figured that with all these really beautiful rosy pink and berry tones that a Valentine's Day look would be perfect the look that I actually did come up with is very it actually kind of reminds me of a sunset and when i first got this palette i definitely knew i wanted to create a look with the like orangey and like berry and pinks because i feel like this just pretty much reminds me of a sunset so that was what i was going for so yeah if you guys want to see how i created this look then just keep watching so first before anything i always have to prep my lips with some type of moisturizer and this one is by brazilian kiss and i love it then, as per usual, I'm priming my eyes with my Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer and just blending it out. I think I forgot that I don't have my nails on anymore because I usually would have blended this out with my finger, but a brush works too. Um, this is a synthetic brush that I got from a set from BH Cosmetics. The first transition I'm going in with is called Burnt Orange, and it's a warm, medium brown orange shade, and I'm just blending this into my crease with a Mojo Beauty E5 blending brush. And like I said in my last tutorial, I'm going to be linking all the brushes I use as well as the products like I always do. So you guys can find all the details regarding everything in the description box below. Then I'm taking another Mojo blending brush with no product on it and just further blending everything out. Now I'm taking the color Tempera, which is a light beige shade and with a slight hint of satin finish. It's not really matte. And I'm using this as my brow bone highlight and I'm using a very small dense brush to get really precise placement right under my brow and this brush is from a holiday brush set from Sephora now I'm going in with a shade called real gar which is a muted warm dark like orangey matte shade and with a more dense blending brush this one's actually from morphe but the number rubbed off because it's so old I got it like years ago at IMAX so I'm not sure what it's called but I will try and find out which one it is but I'm just taking this and just blending this more into my like outer and lower crease trying not to blend too far up or too far in because you want to see that first transition shade so it builds that gradient sunset look that I am going for. Now for the lid I'm going in with the Love Letter which is a deep matte berry shade and I just want to point out that my lids aren't smooth They've always been like this for as long as I can remember and I feel like it really like hinders my ability to do certain looks because they're really hard to work with sometimes. But since my lids have so much extra skin on them, it's kind of hard to tell where the lid and the crease is. Like where the lid ends and the crease begins. It's like, I don't know, it gets really frustrating. But it's something that I've always struggled with so I'm really sorry if my eyeshadow doesn't always look completely flawless. My eyes are kind of hard to work with. And like I said, they've always been like this for as long as I can remember. So it really doesn't have anything to do with like not being gentle with my skin or like taking care of my skin. It's just how my eyes are. So yeah, I kind of went on a tangent, but I just wanted to point that out. So then I'm going back in with that original blending brush that I used and just further blending everything out. Now I'm taking Red Ochre, which is a dark reddish brown, and Cypress Umber, which is a Toby brown, and with this small precise blending brush, um, another one that I believe is from Morphe, but it's so old that the writing rubbed off of it, but I'm just placing this on the outer corner of my eye to give the look some definition so that it pulls the gradient effect together and that everything looks a little more three-dimensional. For liner, I'm using the e.l.f. liquid liner, which is literally a dollar, and it works really well if you guys struggle with doing a wing liner. Um, I was having a really bad liner day, so it didn't come out perfectly, but I ended up just fixing it off camera, so. Then I'm putting a quick coat of my recent favorite mascara, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and I always have to do a coat of mascara before I apply fall flashes because I am a natural blonde, and my lashes are literally like transparent, so. Putting mascara on is a necessity for me, even though I'm going to be putting on false lashes. Then taking the Marc Jacobs highlighter, I forget what the name of this one is specifically, I'll link it below, but it's the black one, the darkest one that they make, and I'm just using this in my waterline and to tight line. 
Now the lashes I'm using are from Tarte and they're in the style Goddess. And this was actually my first time wearing these and I love them so much. I especially love lashes that are shorter in the inner corner and then flare out at the ends. And they're also cruelty free, which is great too. Then onto the face, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral. Just to conceal under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, the usual routine. And I'm taking the Real Technique sponge and blending all that out. Um, I said in my January Favorites video that I've been obsessed with this sponge lately and I love it for applying foundation because it definitely gets the job done quicker but I feel like it isn't the easiest when blending out in certain areas since the sponge is kind of big. So I definitely would have used my beauty blender to blend out under the eye but I mean it ended up working fine. Now I'm taking this cream contour kit from Ulta and it's actually by the Ulta brand and I'm actually using this for the first time. And the brush that I'm using is a smaller brush from the My Makeup brush set and I'm using this to contour my nose and I honestly feel like my nose contour comes out so much better when I use cream products so I was really happy with how this came out and then I'm just going to contour the rest of my face as well and then blend everything out with the Real Technique sponge that I used before. Then I'm taking the more yellow shade from the contour palette and I actually learned this trick from Britney Bear Makeup on Instagram and I feel like it makes the nose look so much slimmer when you do this. So what I'm doing is dragging the product from where I drew the contour on my nose and just dragging it horizontally towards the inner part of my cheeks. So essentially it'll look like it blends into my cheeks pretty much and it makes my nose look so much slimmer and I love this little trick and yeah. I will probably make a whole video breakdown of how I contour and highlight like more thoroughly so I can show you guys some things that I've picked up and learned so definitely look out for that. Then I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder to set my under eyes and the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M501 brush and I really do love this for setting everything under my eye. It's really soft but it's fluffy and it just works really well with getting in the corners of your eye. Then I'm taking my recent obsession, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and a Kat Von D powder brush and just pretty much bronzing up my whole face. <laughs> and then with the Cypress Umber Shade, I'm pressing that into my lower lash line with a Mojo E7 brush. Then to make the contour a little more defined, I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and just pretty much going over my cheeks, forehead, nose, everywhere that I contour just to like set everything and to be a little extra of course. Then I am going over my nose contour with my usual Luxie Beauty and JD Weighty Nose Perfector brush I think is what it's called and I feel like I really should not have gone over my nose contour again because I feel like it ended up looking like a little too much but oh well what can you do. <laughs> and then this brush is a Mojo E1 brush and I like to use this to blend out my nose contour because it's fluffy but it's also somewhat flat so it blends everything down my nose vertically very well. Now the blush I'm using is this Too Faced Sweethearts blush. I think it came out a few years ago and I just thought it would be appropriate for Valentine's Day. And the brush I'm using is a Morphe M530 brush. And I did not realize how pigmented and pink this was going to end up looking. So I just tried to diffuse it a little and blend it out because it was very just a little much. And for highlight, I'm using the one that I've been using in almost all my most recent videos and the one that I use all the time. It's the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlight. And I'm using a Morphe fan brush on the top of my cheekbones and then a Morphe R31 brush just to highlight down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose as well. Now for liner, I'm using my Holy Grail LA Auto Lip Liner in Natural. This is literally like $3.99. It's so cheap and it is the best nude lip liner ever. It lasts so long. It doesn't fade and it keeps everything like perfect. And I think it goes with a lot of really nice nudes and nudie pinks. Um, and then for lipstick, I'm using a recent favorite of mine, the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick in Buttercream Frosting. And it literally smells like vanilla cupcakes. Ugh, I love when lip products smell like cupcakes. But yeah, it's really great. The formula is actually fantastic and it's not drying at all for like a drugstore liquid lipstick. So I'm really impressed with this. <laughs> and yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful 
Valentine's Day, whether you are single or not. And I will see you guys in my next video.